The local community is in mourning. A volunteer firefighter was lost in the line of duty. He was battling a 4th of July fire in Lower Marion. NBC 10's Rosemary Connors is live at the scene in Wynwood. Rosemary, I know you've been working on this story all day. What can you tell us? Uh, Tracy, this is just, it's heartbreaking to say the least. At the scene here, you can see the caution tape still outside of this house. Police just pulled into the back driveway here. Sean DeMonk was well liked. His Fire chief calls him uh, an all-around good guy. He fit in everywhere. He and his wife actually had their car packed. They were supposed to leave today to head back to their home country of Canada, but he lost his life trying to serve the community where he lived for the past few years. We lost a true hero last time. Neighbors watched the flames shoot from the roof of the house on Rosedale Road in Wynwood around 1030 July 4th night. Neighbors say there had been a party here earlier in the evening. 35-year-old volunteer firefighter Sean DeMonk went in battling the blaze on the third floor. The atmosphere changed quickly on us. A lot of heat, a lot of fire. Uh, we're not quite sure yet what occurred with firefighter DeMonk. Um, he was with two other firefighters at the time. They got out and unfortunately he didn't. We as firefighters know the dangers we face, but somehow you never think one of your guys is going to pay the ultimate sacrifice, and so we are struggling. While neighbors say they heard fireworks in the area, investigators have not yet determined what caused the fire. The cause of DeMunk's death is also under investigation. Sean and his wife are Canadian. Uh, they were here on a, a work visa for his wife. Um, Sean was a, an avid hockey player when he was up in Canada and uh, helped work with his, his brother and for the, the family business. Sean DeMunk previously worked for the Windsor Spitfires hockey team in Canada as a video coach helping out behind the scenes. Fire officials say he and his wife, who was in Philadelphia on a research fellowship, were set to return to Canada today. Last night was his last fire call. He came to, su to support his uh, wife, uh, found us, and uh, fell in love with firefighting. Uh, his plans were to return to, ca to Canada and... Uh, he had some applications in the Toronto Fire Department and surrounding agencies. At the Penwin Overbrook Hills Fire Company, where members are mourning the loss, neighbors came to pay their respects. And I think the story was also tragic, the fact that he was going to go back to Canada today. I thought it was just so heartbroken for the family. He was very close with a small group, and you know, it's hitting them the hardest. But, you know, just, we lost a good one. All day long here at the scene and certainly at the fire company, people from other fire companies all over Montgomery County have been coming to pay their respects as well. Sean DeMunk served with Penn Wynn over Brook Hills for the past two years since August 2019. He leaves behind his wife and his parents who are in Canada. Reporting live in Wynwood, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News.